Hey everyone, it's Tony Unicorn. I had my very first ever kind of natural, virtual, entirely virtual date. It was several hours. It was so much fun. And I just wanted to share because it's a new experience. It's, it's a time of COVID, right? So these are new experiences for some of us. Uh, many of us and uh, you know it was it was fun and I wanted to share the experience so I ended up um, going to an event at Oasis virtual aqua lounge it's a place where they host social events I think every night of the week at like like a certain time and um, it's a sex club so like there's nudity and sex allowed at all times and like it's like it's not often you see sex on camera but it's not unoften if it makes sense so unoften <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so it really is more the, the weekends that you'd see a lot more sex on camera. Anyways, um, so I go to those events and I was hanging out with a guy that I like there and like we, we have mutual attraction. And um, anyways, it was fun. Anyways, the event was kind of ending and I didn't really want to stop talking to him. And so I just kind of private messaged him and asked if he wanted to like go into like one of the private rooms because then you can have just, you know, two webcams and then no one else can come in. And so we said sure so we went into that that room and it was just like we just kept hanging out for a little, like a couple more hours and chit chatting and talking and i think i ate something and like we kept talking and then it just was like really getting flirty and like i just was i just started to like like i do i do touch my body unconsciously sometimes like i can literally sit here and like rub myself like this and not like pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> you know it's like i just like keep busy with my fingers and hands um just imagine what that could be like if you were in front of me, uh, massages, things like that. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I noticed myself on camera and I was like getting flirty with him and I was like, I just really like was feeling it, I guess. And I, I was loving our conversation. And so it got to be a little, like it crossed a line of sex for me. It was like, like a good line. It was like, I actually got really turned on by what was going on and I've never had that experience on camera before for somebody. I've never had that experience in a virtual space before. And I was like looking at his dick on camera and like it was like really like nice and I could picture it down my throat and then he was talking to me through the camera. Um, I'm closing my eyes because that's how I felt it. So I like, it was such a good experience. Um, and he would talk to me on camera and like almost like role play with me in my, in our heads together. And it was really fucking hot. And, um, yeah, I, I really liked it. It was, uh, and then it was funny because then after we were done, um, it, you know, it wasn't like that awkward bullshit when people come over and like, then like jet after we ended up just kind of, I fell asleep actually. I don't think he knew that, but like, I actually fell asleep like a hot second on the couch. Cause I was laying there with like a little blankie over me and I would, we were just talking like a pillow talk. And, uh, I was trying so hard to keep, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Cause I couldn't, I, I didn't have any more words, but I still didn't want the phone call to end, even though I didn't have any more words, you know? So it's been rare, it's rare that I had a date like that, that I just, it was all night and it was not, it was, it was wonderful. It, it could, it could have gone on for a lot longer even. Um, so I just wanted to share it because for me, I didn't think that there was virtual encounters like this that I thought were meaningful. And uh, I, I feel like I'm optimistic about using virtual space to have real connection with people if it's, you know, it's not physical, it's not 100% connection maybe, but it's like 50%, <laughs> it's not nothing. It's not like in, in whatever, 19 fucking 18 or 1912, whenever that flu was and people had like the mail to communicate, like we can actually like see people's dick on camera. <laughs> I actually like up close to my pussy on camera and like played with it and I was really turned on by it. It was really something that is very out of character for me. I don't even post pictures like that on my OnlyFans. Um, but I was really into it and it was nice to get his feedback and like, yeah. So I had a great experience and I wanted to share it because virtual encounters um, are a thing and you can, and he was telling me, he's polyamorous and so he was telling me he has these other uh, partners where they actually go on Amazon Prime and like watch a movie together and there's like they can like pause at the same time. And, like, it's just like, that's genius. There's a way to hang out with people, 
right? And like, and share experiences, even if you're in another country, even if you are across the street, uh, you can still log into this virtual space and, and not do it alone all the time, just because you've COVID, like fuck COVID, even when COVID's over, people are gonna stay in their houses. Like people have not gotten sick in a year. I, I think people are like getting gonna get used to this social distancing stuff. So anyways, um, I hope that this added any kind of value to anyone's lives, but I was a skeptic for, you know, the first 30 something years of my life of virtual value, value of virtual experiences uh, within or with people. I didn't never connected in chat rooms. I never understood how people would get connected to a username. I just didn't understand how that happened. I wasn't, it wasn't for me. And this, this is a different experience. I ended up meeting this guy through these events where face-to-face -face webcams was how I met him, how I got to know him, um, and then started to get a crush on him. And you know, and it kind of grew over the span of, of, I think, months, weeks, I'm not sure. So it's not nothing. There's real experiences out there. And uh, I hope this inspires you to, to see what experiences are out there for you. Okay, bye.